generally in many businesses you make something concrete and you give that to people and that's what you sell. Um, in, and in medicines we sell tablets of a particular drug. Um, my job as, a, job as a patent attorney is to try and make sure that um, other people don't um, rip us off basically. Um, we file patents around the compounds that are used to help treat these diseases and the purpose of the patent is to prevent anybody else copying um, our drug for a period of time and this allows us to get our investment back. It costs something like um, seven billion dollars to um, produce the average drug so you do need to get your money back in some way. Well I started off as a, as a prototype scientist. Um, I uh, did A levels in chemistry, physics and maths. Um, I went to Imperial College in London to do a degree in chemistry and from there I went to Nottingham University to do a PhD in synthetic organic chemistry. Um, to become a patent attorney there is um, there's no then formal courses. What you do is you apply for a trainee position and you then receive on-the-job training. Um, and as part of that training, you're then expected to pass um, the various exams of professional bodies. Once you've passed those exams, you can then call yourself a, a patent attorney and you're licensed to practice. I mean, I'm based here in the UK. I'm required to travel to, um, sometimes to London, um, where the UK patent office is, and some to, quite often to Munich, where the, the European patent office is. And that's where things like patent hearings are held, where I might argue my visor's case before a court. Um, Patent litigation takes place in all the countries of the world, so it's not unknown for me to have to go off to countries that are particularly significant to help with a big court case. Um, Pfizer is also a global company. We have um, research sites um, in the US, in Japan, and it's, it's not infrequent for me to have to go to those to um, you know, assess the work they're doing there, help the local attorneys, and you know, to make sure you know, everybody's doing their job correctly. The law is very rarely black and white, it's often grey and I used to enjoy um, the interpreting those parts which were very difficult, particularly in perhaps ethically um, challenging areas, what might you do around embryos, um, new seed forms, plant developments, um, medicines to the third world, these sort of areas. Um, where I am now, I, um, I manage quite a large group of attorneys and I do I, I enjoy that challenge as well. Um, I do like managing and interacting with people, training new attorneys and that part of it. And I think that the various stages I've expressed to you, I mean many attorneys choose to specialise in just one particular one, so many attorneys will stay focused with the science, some will go off and become very almost like legal specialists, others will devolve into management. It's just so happened I seem to have gone through all three.